twice behind against Sheffield Wednesday, behind again at Coventry. The Young Blues salvage draws from their first two away games. Oxford United were next at Goodison, the team who had robbed Everton of the title initiative in the final week of the previous season. Their goalkeeper, Alan Judge, was sentenced to face penalty executioner Trevor Stephen after being found guilty of toppling Adrian Heath there. After 51 minutes of goalless frustration, Stephen dispatched the first of the 14 league goals that would make him the champion's top scorer. But the game was far from over, and Oxford equalised. Headed away by Charles back in defence. Here's Houghton, the Oxford goal scorer, but very cleanly stolen from him by Parr. Harper. Now Stephen. Harper again. Oh, he caught hold of that one. He doesn't score very often, but they do tend to be important goals if you're prepared to wait for them. A most popular goal scorer, Alan Harper. And yes, with his left foot. Stephen finding Adams. Cross looking for Sharp. And Briggs happy to help it on its way for an Everton corner. Just eight minutes remaining now. And after, well, a forgettable first half display, Everton inside of a deserved victory. Watson forward for the corner. It's on the right hand edge of the screen there. Kevin Langley beyond him. Swung in by Stephen. Oh, Briggs was all over sharp there. Here's Langley. And that will seal the points. May just have taken a slight deflection. But I fancy Everton might have had a good case for a penalty anyway. Briggs' challenge on sharp. Punished though in no uncertain terms by Kevin.